So what we're having is our first annual Marathon Spectacular. It's a fundraising event to raise money for the 26.2 Foundation. Uh, the 26.2 Foundation raises money for local needs with sporting events, but it's also the seed money for the uh, International Marathon Center um, that's just in the very, very preliminary planning stages. Um, this is a uh, just like the uh, football Hall of Fame, if you will, or Baseball Hall of Fame. This is a, kind of like a Hall of Fame approach to uh, the sport of marathoning, and we hope to see that here in Hopkinton someday. So we're excited to be a corporate founding sponsor for the 26.2 Foundation, Western Nurseries along with Startline Brewery. Um, and we're the two organizations who have organized this, this event on uh, Patriots Day Monday. Um, the event starts at 7 a.m. and goes to 4 p.m. And people have to either get here before 7 or follow the instructions if they want to come here after 7 because we can get people right here um, from the back roads uh, during the hours that the marathon is going on. Um, but basically if you get here before, before 7, um, it'll be the case where you can just drive right in, just come down the main road. After that they close the roads off. So then when you get here, um, our liquor license for beer and wine starts at 8 o'clock and at that time we'll be able to serve wine and beer. Uh, also mimosas and mixed drinks uh, with Prosecco or champagne. And we'll have a lot of breakfast food vendors, uh, Yummy Mummies from Westboro, uh, Say Cheese will be here. They do grilled cheese, but they also do breakfast. And we'll have Dunkin' Donuts. They've donated all the coffee, so it's free coffee. Um, and we have thousands of cups of coffee, so we're planning on a lot of people uh, early on. Um, after 12.30, 1 o'clock, the roads open again, and people can get here on the roads. But again, you can get here all during the event if you come in the back roads and follow the directions on uh, the events page of our website. Um, but after the uh, morning, a lot of the vendors will switch to, to, to lunch. So you'll have uh, barbecue, uh, you'll have pizza, Anzio's Pizza will be here, uh, the Say Cheese Company with their grilled cheese, Snappy Dogs, of course, um, probably missing a few. And uh, Ted Twenty from Startline, of course, will have all his, his beer choices that'll be a hit in the afternoon. Um, we're charging $20 uh, for a ticket, uh, pre-purchased, and $25 at the gate the day of. And we have a kids area. We invite people of all ages and families. Uh, kids 12 and under are free. And we'll have the YMCA here to uh, run the kids area. We'll have some kids games like Giant Jenga and Connect Four and uh, a game called Gaga. Don't even know what it is, but something about a tented in area where you kick a ball around, kind of like a dodgeball game, I guess and cornhole. Uh, we'll also have an adult cornhole tournament going on in the afternoon. And um, so the Y is going to be here. Um, the Chamber is going to be here. They'll have a table set up. The 26.2 Foundation will be here and explain what their mission is. And they'll have a table set up and they'll be selling some items, um, shirts and cups and jewelry and things like that. And the Metro West uh, Visitors Bureau will be here as well. So we're hoping not only local people will come to this, but also families uh, of the runners looking for something to do after the, the race has started, and maybe even the runners themselves if they can get back here in time. The bands are really terrific. We've got a uh, acapella band in the morning, a bluegrass band in the morning, and then we switch to Steve Spector and Hot Acoustics, who many people know, uh, around 11. And then we've got Steve Smith and the Nakeds in the afternoon, early afternoon, and then we've got John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band uh, on at 2.30. And um, they've had some number one hits, so I think a lot of people know who they are and hopefully draw some additional crowd at the end of the day. So we're looking for a, a good weather day, hopefully, and a lot of a big turnout to raise money for the 26.2 Foundation. And it's a very good spot to uh, watch the marathon. Uh, are you going to kind of have everyone gathered along the street to watch the marathon? Yeah, it's a great viewing area. Thank you for pointing that out. It's a great area. We're at the one-mile marker here, and this will be a cordoned-off area, but you can see the marathon from right inside the fenced-in area. Or you're allowed to come and go. You just can't take drinks outside the fenced-in fenced -in area. Um, if you want to get a closer view and come up to the sidewalk by the street. If we get cold weather or if it's going to drizzle a little bit on our parade, um, we will have a 40 by 60 tent set up with a couple hundred seats and 25, 30 tables in there. Uh, we can actually bring the band inside. We'll have a tent for them actually on the side. But we uh, will have televisions where people can watch the race. Uh, if they know where somebody is along the race because of the app they have or whatever, 
they can watch the television on Channel 4 and see when they're crossing the finish line. So we'll have some um, good production stuff set up here so people can actually watch the race. Not only view it as they go by, but watch it on televisions thereafter too. And hopefully it doesn't rain, and if it does, we'll be prepared for that. All right, and are you guys going to uh, be open for business as well? We are, yes, thanks for asking. Yeah, we'll be open for business that day, and people can leave with a, an annual or a Porsche pod or something like that.